in order to get to be a CPA, you have to have an accounting degree and pass a CPA uh, exam. What CPA means is uh, Certified Public Accountant. And, and the key word there is it's a public accountant. So in accounting, there's all different types of things that you can do. What I do is public accounting, which means that you do accounting work for the public at large. Uh, you're not employed by any one person, but by a bunch of different, different clients. You can also be in corporate accounting, where you have one company that you uh, do the accounting work for. Or you can do work for government, like work for the IRS or the Franchise Tax Board. What people don't really realize is in accounting, the, the accounting students are highly sought after. So I didn't really have to worry about applying for a job too much. I knew once I had that accounting degree, the accounting firms would seek me out. And so during my last couple years in college, I was approached by accounting firms asking me to come in for an interview, which makes you feel really good. So I went in, interviewed with several different firms. One in particular that I started with is a very large international accounting firm, but they wanted me to move to Los Angeles to continue the progression in my career. So at that time, not wanting to move, I looked for other alternatives and decided to join a smaller accounting firm in Palo Alto. Don't let people around you confuse you that things will be easy. If you really want something in your career out of life, things that are valuable, things that are important, you'll have to work for them. It does take hard work in anything that's worthwhile doing. Also, too, as you work in life, there are certain things that will be important to you. In public accounting, as an example, one of the things that's very important there, in order to do well in it, you need to really want to help people. And yeah, you do it because you get paid for it, but those who do it well are doing it well because they really enjoy helping, helping people around them. The other thing about public accounting, too, is that a lot of people think, oh, it's just all numbers. You don't want to be afraid of numbers, but you don't necessarily have to be good with numbers. What you need to be is good with people. Public accounting is really like 80% public and 20% accounting. The way most people start in public accounting, they start at the, at the entry level, fresh out of college, in a position that's called a staff accountant or staff associate. And you'll work as a staff accountant or associate for a couple years and then you'll advance into a senior associate. You'll be a senior associate for a couple years. Then you'll become a manager, a junior manager uh, in public accounting and work as a manager for three or four years and then you're promoted to what's known as a senior manager and you'll be a senior manager for three to four years. Typically the, the position that most people, many people aspire to within public accounting is a partner in an accounting firm. It's usually a 12 to 15 year progression that people go through. But not all people coming into working for a public accounting firm or accountants necessarily have a computer and IT backgrounds. There's people who uh, do marketing, business analytics, economic studies, there's taxes, business strategy consulting, different opportunities within public accounting for people who have their CPA. In our firm, we've even had people who've started in as the receptionist answering the phones at the front desk over a period of years have taken on more and more responsibilities where that person has eventually become the office manager, which is a very responsible position within our firm. You're managing an office of almost 100 people and the activity is going in and around that. Accounting can take you in many different ways. A lot of times people think, oh, you're just sitting behind desks and things and working with numbers. But one interesting thing that you may find, to get into the FBI, it has to have two types of degrees in order to become an FBI agent, either an accounting degree or a law degree. And the old joke about that, the way they caught Al Capone, the way the FBI caught Al Capone, was tax evasion. <laughs>